Suicide among veterans is 22% higher than for people who never served in the military. It's not the obvious reason you'd think. The rates of suicide are just as high among vets who never deployed to a war or saw combat. But it's a really complex thing to study because suicide remains a pretty rare event. And you can't ever ask someone who has actually taken their own life about the reasons. According to the VA's most recent data, that 22% stat is veterans compared to people who have never served. Breaking that number down into male and female veterans highlights a shocking statistic. Male veterans kill themselves at a rate 19% higher than civilian men. Female veterans die by suicide at a rate 150% higher than civilian women. Pretty clearly because veteran women are so much more likely to own and know how to handle firearms than civilian women. It's worth highlighting the high suicide rate among male vets is also connected to gun use, since guns are much more often fatal than pills or other methods. But talking about limiting access to guns gets controversial really quick. Some vets have designed their own safeguard, a sort of designated driver for their guns. When they're feeling low, they call a trusted buddy to take their guns out of the house or give their spouse the key to the gun safe. That prevents a spontaneous, fatal decision in a dark moment. The Department of Veterans Affairs is also taking action. In 2017, they rolled out a futuristic program called ReachVet, which uses predictive analytics to check in on veterans who meet a profile for suicide. The program is making more than a thousand calls a week. Still, the VA knows that they're not reaching enough veterans. Of the 20 veterans who die by suicide each day, 14 were not getting VA care, which shows that maybe VA care helps, but it needs to be reaching more vets.